guys, what is up again? Hold Derka here, back with another Animal Crossing video because I just really love this game recently, as usual. So, in a few weeks' time, I'll be back on online classes again, so I'll be very inactive preparing stuff for the freshmen that are about to come in the university. So today, in this video, it's gonna be a little different. We're not going to visit Dream Islands today. But we will have an island tour, so I'm really, really excited to show you guys my island. It is five stars, and I'm really excited as well to show you guys on what my updates have been doing. And I just finished selling my turnips because today is Sunday, and Sunday is turnip day and festival day. So right here, as you can see, we have the flag of Tsukishima right here. It's literally a moon with glasses with number eleven because it's this island is based in Tsukishima. My favorite hiking character. So, anyways, if you guys want to see more content, make sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel as well. I am so so excited for the content that I'm going to share right now, and let me tour you guys to my island. <laughs> Uh, so you enter, we have like a forest thing here. We have an entrance over here, which is pretty neat. We have some tulips, hyacinths, and then as you go through here, you will have a wheelchair, some tricycles, and the moon on the center, dead center, as you guys can see. It's very beautiful, you know? I actually edited the entrance a little bit a few weeks ago, so th this was not the original entrance when I first made it. It's a little bit more fountainy, I don't know. And also over there is a UFO over there, which is nice, nice. And then what we're going to here is the bridge to our park. As you guys can see, this is our park, our little park here. We have our vending machines over here, the fountains, the, um, the benches. And then all the way here, we will have our running area with like a forest like not exactly forest like a flower field something with a flower field a lot of flowers over here because i really want to make this as open as possible i don't want to put too much like areas and stuff i just want it to go free and this way is the beach as you guys can see beach this way and right here is our little pool area with covered with a uh, simple panel so that they could like have an entry area here so this is the, where they put their beach area in and then actually some surfboards actually i just bought a surfboard as well from the island i just visited so we have another surfboard so we have our surfboards for surfing and down here we have our relaxing area with uh, poolside beds and rotten end table with some coconut juice just having a good time by the way this island that I made is inspired by to be honest some the resorts that I go to a lot because before the COVID-19 I go to a lot of resorts with family so I kind of have an idea for it so as you can see Grizzly is just vibing over there he's having a good time relaxing under the sun luckily it's not raining though which is nice and now he's out <laughs> and then over here down here we have our beach area we have another relaxing area over here um weeds to have that outgrown effect per se and we have some coconut trees we have a path down here to make our way to the beach area so this beach area is where you can swim over here and some so music playing and then down here where you exit this is where you can get your wetsuits and goggles to wear them so you can dive right in the beach we have some portable toilets as well in case you want to pee and then headed this way is one of my favorite parts is the beach volleyball park because I cannot I have no idea how to put literally a volleyball court in Animal Crossing because of my my kind of a resort plan. I just decided to make like a makeshift um, beach 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 volleyball area and we have our logs here so that they could watch their friends play and then the the lifeguard chair where the where the referee will be in so that they can see him. Actually this was kind of inspired by Haikyuu because spoilers for manga non-manga readers Hinata left 
to Brazil to practice in beach volleyball. Down here is like my uh, my uh, play area, kind of the play area where this where you could play some arcade games, some gambling stuff. I don't gamble in real life, but this is inspired by Solaire Resort because my family goes there a lot, where we just relax and have a good time. This is the dance floor things KK Disco and then right here is our tea ride teacup ride where you know you just put it there to be honest I have no idea on how to like utilize this long area around here with the beaches in between so I decided to just put the beach right here over here we have like our foresty kind of mini foresty area where you have the wishing well and you can make a wish over here and then you have another log over here where you could take a seat another like a mini park and then right here is our like a live band here live band area where you would play music and there's studio spotlight over there shining all over the people who will sing and dance you know this is like my live band area where they could play music all night long, all day long, all day long. Hi Dom, how you doing? Let's talk to him. I'm bored. Hi hey, hey, how you been Bashi? So what's the latest? Love the sunny weather we have been lady today. Helps you work have a good sweat. Basically he is one of my favorite favorite jocks. He's a dreamy and I love him. He's baby and I will die for him. He's watering. Nice. Anyways, we make our way here to our library library area. So when you enter, you have a plant and a mini library, a table for the typewriter, the librarian to guide you, some books, some homework, rocking chairs to where you could rock your chair and call on the phone. So yeah, that's my mini library. It's not as big as most libraries I see in Animal Crossing, but you get the point. So I have here a little crafting area over here in case you want to craft along the way before you enter to Nook's Cranny. So this is my Nook's Cranny and I decided to like have a waiting area over here so that while you wait for someone to, to shop, you go here. And then let's go up first. We go up here to the Abel Sisters area. So this area is solely focused for Abel Sisters. We have our clothes here. We have another waiting area for tables Abel Sisters here. Some magazine rocks if you want to wait. You have some books to read. Another set of uh, vending machines and a coffee. So if you want coffee, you'll just order it here. And then you can also get some bubble gum. And then take a seat here, drink some coffee, buy the balcony, something pretty nice. And then over here we have our little trash cans because we need to segregate. <laughs> Don't forget to segregate, kids. Anyways, we are going down here. Hi, Meringue. She's lovely. We'll talk to her later. And this is our mini marketplace so this is where i put the stuff that i don't need anymore and then i'll give it to friends to people who want it and some diys as well i have a cookie fortune cookie cart and this marketplace flag and then a spinning wheel maybe for giveaways in the future for number four okay and then down here you have our little waiting area waiting area for your food and then you have the menu cutboard over here now we have our cafe so this area is solely based and focused on cafes which is pretty nice we finally arrived at one of my favorite parts <laughs> because this is a hiking reference again this is also Mia's newest branch here it's onigiri mia where you can get get the finest onigiri yeah and also rice Rice is sponsored by Kita Shinsuke <laughs> channel. Anyways, we have here our ovens, our hearts, and then this is not actually technically an onigiri miya kind of cafe, but it's rather more of like a all around cafe. But onigiri miya is just the main because I love haiku and I just wanted to put that in. 
some music going on and then the reason I have some fish in here you know those people that have fish display and then like you cook them yeah that's my plan here origin is gonna have a table but I realize it doesn't work so I just put it like this and then when you make your way down here you will have your juice bar so this actually this area actually this is just made two days ago so I just started on this project two days ago and I decided to make a, like a more organized juice bar because I was inspired on YouTube and IG for it. So I have this juice bar, some palm trees over here. So basically you can put any juice you like. And then over here on the other side, we have our ice cream parlor. We have some creamy sugar for your ice cream, some shaved ice cream, shaved ice cream ice maker and then some more seats it's really music and then over here is another set of portable toilets we go our way here so right here are are my fruits that i get from friends you know poor card things so i have only four per area yeah one two three four yeah four only per area so i won't be i it won't be too much so i decided to put it there and then some bushes a cotton candy stall and some uh, benches so that they could maybe take a seat and relax while people are playing in the playground although my playground is quite small compared to most playgrounds it's just a place where they could chill and hang out to be honest and play a little bit you know just have a good time and then over here once we pass through here hi Velma you're doing great is our residential area so this is where I decided to have like one area dedicated to just you know the residential area and by the way I would you like to I want you guys to meet my newest villager he just arrived like he just moved in like two days ago so this is Bo let's talk to him are you ready because if I were sure starting tonight at 7 p.m. sharp I think I might show up early just to get a good seat I might need a plenty of room to spread out my snacks so I'll play okay so he's a very nice he's actually one of my dreamies and he's very adorable like look at him he's a baby he's just vibing <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you guys the house. So this is Flurry's house. One of my favorite villagers, actually. She what is the cutest little sunshine ever and also has the greatest taste, in my opinion. She gives me some of the best things ever in my closet. And next we have Velma's house. So her personality type is snooty, by the way. Flurries is normal. She's a normal and Velma's a snooty. She's my only snooty villager and her hobby is education So I got her in and she has glasses as well. So I got her in and then we go here. This is Dom's area aka the other favorite chalk. So he is a chalk villager and I decided to put him at the beach house Which is kind of my kind of my plan and this is Grizzly's house. He is my only bear. He's my only cranky villager, which is pretty nice. I love cranky villagers actually. They're very nice to warm up to. And over there are next villagers. So there's Pinky. I might move her out soon, but she's a nice person. So this is Snibbles, one of my best friends. She's the third villager to arrive in the in the island and she loves to be a pop star and she has a peppy personality by the way this is pinky's house she just arrived like a week ago i think and she was the one that replaced rodney because i didn't adjust to rodney even though that i think he's a smog he's the only smog i just didn't like him didn't fight with him so i easily took him out pinky by the way is a peppy as well so we have two peppies as here beside each other neighborhood Next up is Bo's house. So Bo's house, I never actually seen the inside of his house before because I just went inside. I just went inside when he was parking and I wasn't able to visit his house while he was inside. So I wasn't able to really see his house, but I'll probably see it soon. So by the way, he's a lazy villager and he's the only lazy villager in my island. So I had to get him. And this is Plucky's house. She's my sisterly villager. And I love what I did with here. It's a little simple but sweet. So my concept of the 
of the neighborhood. It's just, you know, just a chill little area where they could relax and stuff. And this is Marangs. She's my rhino villager. She's my normal villager. And she's very sweet. And I love her. And this is Scoot. By the way, Plucky is one of my starter villagers, by the way. And this is Scoot. Oh, he's fishing right now, too. Check me out. I'm going to catch the biggest, baddest fish on the island zip zoom. He's lovely. So we have Scoot over here. He's also one of my starter villagers. He is a chalk villager and he's doing great. You know, he's lovely. Anyways, I'll show you guys the parts on the beach right here. You make your path to the pier. I think this is the pier area where they could fish and stuff. It's very simple quite a bit for now. And on the way here, you have a sink to wash your hands. And you go here to have our mini beach gym. So this is where the jocks can pull up, box, do their thing, check their height, and then lie down if you're tired, have some protein shakes, and exercise ball, and some electric fan as well. And all the way here is like a little relaxing area for people who want to relax, like the private beach. And right here, to be honest, I just have no idea what to do here, so I just decided to put like a fortune witch kind of area where they could just relax sit down and just enjoy the sun setting some sorts and an hourglass and then by the way after you make it to school you make out your way here to the spa so this is the outdoor spa that is like beside the beach this was one of the big things that I last thought of too because I have no idea what to do here and I just don't want it to make like a mermaid area and I don't have a spa what resort what kind of resort doesn't have a spa so I decided to put here an outdoor spa and play some music and this is where basically you relax chill have a good time this is the outdoor spa and I couldn't be happier couldn't be more proud of how I did I found a lot of inspiration on Instagram and uh, Pinterest so looking on those is a great idea if you're looking for inspiration for your island in Animal Crossing. Anyways before we go up there we're going to go to this area first. So this is the museum so this is where I put my museum sorry for that. We go upstairs here and we have some arapaimas and asteroids, two valiant statues over here. And this is like my uh, museum. It's not really the most grand entrance of all, but you get the point. This is my museum. You get through here. And then this right here is my like a zen bamboo garden. A zen bamboo garden where you can just relax over here. And then this is my pagoda. Pagoda. Pagoda! And some deer scares and some outer branches. If you want to have a picnic, by the way, you could work it here. You could work it here. And another outdoor bath. So basically, this is like my secluded, like a bamboo area if you want to take a walk and stuff. Hi, Nibbles. My Beshi. This is my Beshi. I love her so much. I would die for her. She's one of my favorite villagers, by the way. And then over here, you make your way up here to our viewing area. So this is like a viewing area if you want to see the stars over here. You can view it with two telescopes. And if you want to just sit down and relax, you just, you know, sit here on the cushions. This is like my viewing area. And it's surrounded by a lot of stars, by a lot of nova lights. Because they're very nice, very nice aesthetics, you know. And then you make your way here, actually, to my campsite. So you, when you make your way down here, you can have a campsite. This is my campsite. This area actually is like a party slash campsite area so that if the newcomer arrives, he can be able to spend time with the current villagers, have a good time, have some nice grill. Have some nice food, enjoy and have a good time. So this is where the lie down stuff. It's like a party area per se as well. And we have more relaxing areas over here. This island is a lot of relaxing. This is a place where you could just relax and have a good time. This area is for the um, newcomers to be exact. So this is where they could craft, wash their clothes, iron it, and let it hang out to dry. More relaxing areas over here, a beach towel where you could just hang out and relax. 
my lighthouse and solar panel as well which is nice by the way when you're done like walking around you could take a seat with the benches over here i put a lot of benches for this purpose because walking around can be tiring so now we will go forward so this one is like the next floor of our island it's like second part yeah second part so this is plucky one of my starters i love her so much she is to die for anyways this is this area is like my hybrid forest not hybrid forest hybrid flower this is my hybrid flower area where there's a garden over here there is like a throw over here and there's a little area here if you want to lie down just relax amongst the flowers this is one of the best areas where you could photograph yourself right here before you go to the house this is like the pathway in here you can either go to the secret beach for red or to here which is like my events area so in this area you could go watch a little movie movie a little movie this is where people can speak in front basically an events area you know i could be able to variety mix on what i could do here maybe like a wedding area over here too which is pretty nice right now though it's like a movie area where you could watch some movies right here is my little secret beach it's quite simple but once once red arrives he'll be welcome with lots and lots of flowers and a huge pathway over here then we'll go to my favorite part of the island because I'm a fangirl and a fangirl must have a shrine in the island usually so we have two bridges over here and you make your way to my Atsubu and Tsukishima shrine I was supposed to add Kageyama but I don't know I don't know how to put Kageyama in this area so I just decided to put Atsubu and Tsukishima because they're both blonde and basically they have been both my faves sorry Kageyama I love you but they have been stealing now nowadays they have been stealing my heart nowadays Woo! okay so I have pictures of Atsubu and Tsukishima here it, Haikyuu stands will have a good time here if you know take a picture with the faves, the bays, yeah, and some moon crescent seats because you know, <laughs> and some flowers, nova lights to make it a little bit more shiny. This part looks cuter at night, by the way. Over here, we'll make our way to my mini plant house per se. So, this is the bugs keeper, and then the bug area, bug cage. Wait, you could change here? How? Animal Crossing is crazy. So we have our greenhouse greenhouse over here. Like a mini greenhouse where you could just relax over here and check your plants. And while you make a way over here, this is my backyard, my yard, and my house. This area is where I will uh, wash my clothes and hang them out to dry. And my relaxing area. If I feel a bit uneasy, I could just relax over here. Which is neat we'll make our way to my house let me show you guys my house so this is my house at the moment so i just edited this house actually yesterday pretty much yesterday it's playing kk metal my favorite song in the animal crossing community because i do love me some metal heads so i decided to make my team of my house a little bit eccentric like a little crazy and yet it suits a bit like you're just having a good time so this area is like my crafting area because you have the sewing kit and the crafting bed, crafting workbench, an iron shelf, some lamp, iron, an iron hanger if you want to hang your clothes over there. And this area is like my living room. I cannot sit here unfortunately because if I did, because if I did, I if I adjusted my sofas, it would be a hard hit. So I just put them like this. Just imagine I can sit here. So I'll show you guys the bathroom. So this is my bathroom. I just redid it. This was originally a long, long bathtub. But surprisingly, there was a whirlwind pool available. So I had that. And we have our bath sink, we have our washer, our clothes closet if you want to change your dress up. We also need to have our mat so we can be able to dry ourselves. We have our toilet down here just to pee or whatever. And then this is my shower area where you could shower yourself. 
a little basket and a tower rack over there so that you could dry yourself up that's basically it and a digital scale and a toilet cleaning set and then let's make our way to the kitchen so this is my kitchen so far and we have a rice cooker because what asian household household <laughs> what asian household does not have a rice cooker because as a fellow asian you know we need to have a rice cooker we need to make a rice really really delicious yeah and we have an area where we could wash our hands we have to cook and some weighing scales and a mixer and a fridge we have our birthday cake i just got it from a friend a while ago a very very dear friend and some dinnerware and then we have our desk for our kettle and microwave some fish stuff um some tea set and like a wash where i like a dishwasher where you know and a hot bowl Cat bed. Here is one of my favorite parts of the room. Let's go. Over here is my streaming room. So this is where I would probably make YouTube videos in Animal Crossing King, in Animal Crossing reality. You know, hi guys, what's up, Potter? Here. <laughs> I just closed this light because I love the rocket lamp. <laughs> We have our video camera recorder here. We have our TV finally. A friend also gave it to me. We have a desk, a book, a Nintendo Switch. Whoopsie. We have a Nintendo Switch over here. To open and close. Some scattered papers. I really love the manga wall. And we have stocks of magazines com for comics. So it's like I'm reading manga in some sort. It's been a while since I bought my newest manga because of COVID-19 eventually I'll be able to catch up with some collections yeah I really love that room it's a room where I could just vibe to be honest so this is my bedroom our huge bedroom there is two bedrooms over here because I really really love Luna's bed so I decided to put it there and my bed and as you can see I have posters of nibbles and flurry because these two are my favorite animal crossing villagers in my island they're very very lovely they're very adorable they're very pure they have done no harm and this is like my preparation area accessory stand and you know my desk mirror which is pretty neat my cork board i really need a cork board for some stuff and i really love this bear because i love cute stuff and love big cute stuff this is my mirror and my wooden bench metronome and the cute music player actually right down here it isn't really much actually right down here it isn't actually pretty a lot to be honest i just placed it there for the sake of placing it so this is the area where i would usually put my um turnips if i bought too many turnips so yeah, this nothing much to be honest. So that's my island. That's pretty much my five star island. And I'm really really happy that I get to finally share this with you guys after a lot of errors and tribulations trying to make everything really perfect. So if you guys are now curious, this is my island now and I'm really really happy with it actually. I actually kept the layout of the original island. I just uh, make it a little bit spiffier and I'm really happy. That is the end of the video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my island tour here in Animal Crossing and my channel. Make sure you guys give me a big old thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel as well. And comment down below if you want to give me more suggestions because honestly, you're so your suggestions will help me a lot thank you for watching my video bye bye